All right. My phone kept running out of uh, batteries. Let me check and make sure it's still recording. Or not batteries, I'm running out of space. So, all right. So now I'm on to the four cable method for the channel two and channel three for distortion, right? So I have four uh, presets that I built that I'm going to put in the link there. One is called EVH Blue 4CM, EVH Red 4CM, and then I have my personal ones where I added effects. The first two have no effects, just noise gates and the effects loop. Um, so they are Hollis Blue 4CM and Hollis Red 4CM. So all I've done is added a noise gate before and after the preamps. Um, the only one that doesn't have that is my personal blue um, because I added a volume pedal and I just wanted to have certain um, things that it can do. So when I go to that one, for example, here's what it sounds like. But, if I, see how it cleans up? The volume pedals at the minimum is 25%. So. Instead of having to roll down the volume on my guitar, I can roll, roll do that and it goes right to that sweet spot. So the other effects are delay, just set with a quarter note tap. I think that quarter note is perfect for most rock and roll dotted eighth note for U2 and for some uh, you know David Gilmore stuff but um, and you can definitely set that any way you like I just like to be able to kind of control it a little bit sometimes I want a shorter or a longer and I can pretty much hit it where I want if I'm doing the quarter note <laughs> or anything I do have a wah pedal actually um, throw the wah pedal in here <laughs> which I've pretty much set up exactly like my EVH flanger and phaser on my real paddle board. Now remember the flanger is usually only used for hitting certain notes that Eddie does. It's only for hitting those notes or even for uh... Just for that, you know. The other thing is the uh, phaser. quiet the red channel is. I'm not touching guitar. There's like no noise. Um, if you're using more gain than I am on either of these channels, my blue channel gain is on six, my red channel gain is on four. Um, somebody said they had it, they had it on like six or seven. You will need it to up the noise gate. Probably not the pre-noise gate, but the noise gate after the, uh, the preamp you'll probably need to go a little bit more on that. So um, you don't need to do anything else really with these patches in terms of, um, you know, 
the, the clean channel had a lot of weird stuff to it because of the volume difference. But for regular four channel methods, which will, should work with any amp, you just needed to set it up the way I have it here. Um, so here are all the different patches that I have. But the way that I have this one really set up is noise gate, mixer, effects loop, noise gate. Now the mixer is set at where the path A is center and is plus 4 dB. You can actually go up to plus 6 I think. Um, it's just because of the funkiness of the stupid pod and the way they have that set up. You're going to lose gain if you don't do that. If I went down to 0 you would definitely hear a difference and I'll show you in a, in a moment we'll do that. And I think going up to 6 might even be something that I change and go to but I think for works good. The right channel or the path B is muted um, so nothing's done there and again all I have set are the noise gates. I always put the decay at zero, thresholds at like see one's at 33 and one's at 25. So all I do for like let's see, all I do is I don't play anything and I kinda see I can still hear hiss and when I don't hear hiss anymore, then I go up just a couple other notches. And that kind of makes it me know where I'm gonna, where kind of the sweet spot is so that I still have some dynamics in the playing, but yet if I'm quiet, nothing's gonna come through. So all these will go on. Um, now here's what I'll do. I'm gonna play with that mixer a little bit, especially on the, the blue channel. I think you can really tell the difference. <laughs> So let me reduce this to zero decibels, which is basically what the pod would normally be. No effects, this is just the blank slate one. I'm on six, I should have more gain than that. So here's it, four decibels increased. And it's six, let me go up to six. You can hear me reducing it down to zero there. It's like it's like lowering the volume on your guitar a little bit, maybe just a couple notches. So anyway, um, hopefully this makes sense to everybody. Um, where the effects loop is and everything, you saw that. You'll have the the actual patches because um, I'll, I'll have all that loaded on there. And um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, everything is set on the pod as it was before. All the, the little switches by the foot pedal, the, the expression pedal, are all in the down position. The effects loop is put to stomp. Um, master volume on the pedal, on the pod, you want that all the way up. You can turn it down, but you're in your... I don't want to say attenuating, but you're you're definitely lowering the volume a little bit with that. Um, it's not a real attenuation, um, but but it's nice to have feature because amp volumes can generally be touchy. So if you just move them a little bit, it makes a big difference. Whereas with that master, you can kind of turn things down a little bit and regulate your bedroom level or what have you a little bit better. Um, my next video will be with the big daddy pedal board show that real quick there's the big daddy pedal board come into focus guy there we go love it buffer then into the wah tuner super badass super octaver a lot of super pedals the flanger phaser and then the exotic sl or super lead and then it goes back to the buffer and then to the front of the amp and then in the effects loop decimator flashback ditto and hall of fame and it rocks um, so that'll be my next one y'all have a great day ask me any questions you have